Welcome back. Thank you. I'm so happy you're here. I am too. It's nice to be here. It was, uh, this audio memoir is wonderful. And one of the great things about it is there are certain songs that as a listener you become so comfortable with that you forget at some point they weren't songs and someone had to write them. And you talk about writing Carolina in my mind. And it's really just a wonderful story. Well, um, yeah, I th we had hoped people would be interested in that. And, uh, and it was, uh, it, you know, I, I can't remember an awful lot of uh, the particulars of writing some of those older songs. Um, but I do remember uh, Carolina. Yeah. And it was, uh, can you share with us some of uh, how it came about? Well, yeah, uh, when I was recording my first album, I was the first person signed to the Beatles' new record label, Apple Records. And they had, um, they, Wait, they... I, can I just stop real quick, like... Because <laughs> I imagine anyone, when they sign their first record deal, uh, there's a lot of pressure behind it. But when it's the, the Beatles, I mean, was, that seems like there'd be even more pressure. Well, I don't... <laughs> no, it, it, felt, it felt very easy. Very, All right. Very passionate. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. No, it did. It, 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 there, there was very little sort of... That, and that may have been the problem with, with Apple <laughs> Records, actually. Yeah. That, that it was pretty much hemorrhaging money. <laughs> but, but while that window of opportunity was open, I, uh, it was a great thing for myself, Mary Hopkins, uh, Jackie Lomax, Billy Preston, you know. Yeah, yeah. of course. And, uh, and a, um, a number of other lucky acts who were, you know, but it was only a year or so that the, that the label uh, still had other non beatle performers on it. But anyway, we were... <laughs> We were, I imagine uh, that was a weird meeting day where they said, you know what, I think we're just going to be the Beatles. <laughs> we think our record label should just be the Beatles from here on out. <laughs> well, uh, a guy named Alan Klein, who was actually, I think, a New Yorker, um, convinced, uh, I think, John and Yoko that, uh, that he'd be a good manager for the Beatles. This is after Brian Epstein died. Um, and, uh, and, and, and uh, Alan Klein basically threw everybody off the record label is what happened. But you worked on this song with the, uh, it wasn't just a label, you actually went and brought it to the Beatles and, and worked on it with some of the Beatles. What that particular song, well it was, I, I wrote it while we were recording. Uh, we took a break, well that is to say the Beatles took a break, so the, <laughs> the, 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 the studio that they were using, when they weren't there, I was there, I would sort of, scamper in there, you know, and put down a few of my little tracks and then clear out before they came back. Uh, but I, I got to hang around a little bit, too. It was, it was great. But, did, but, in the moment, did you know, I mean, you know, uh, did you know it was great or was it one of those, okay, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 knew it, I knew it was extraordinary and exceptional and I couldn't believe it, but uh, but they took a break, so the, they basically closed the studio down, and I went to a, an island in the Mediterranean off the coast of Spain called uh, Formentera. Uh -huh. Formentera. And uh, while I was there, in those days, it was an extremely uh, uh, sort of laid-back and, and primitive place. There, were, there, were no, there really were no cars on the island, and, and uh, people got around on, uh, on bicycles or on their feet. And... Um, I, I just, uh, I, met, uh, I, I met some wonderful people while I was there and had some adventures, but uh, m myself, <laughs> m myself, excellent. <laughs> uh, but myself and a girl named Karen uh, from, from uh, Sweden, uh, we, we, went to, uh, we, we went to a neighboring island. There was a ferry service over there. We went over to see what was happening on the island of Ibiza. And, All right. Yeah. And, and uh, while we were there, uh, we, we went to, I can't remember if it was a, a wedding or a funeral, but we went to some sort of a, uh, yeah. but, uh, but, <laughs> but it was a, some kind of congregation of people. Yeah, and they, yeah, yeah. People seemed like they were, they were in a good mood. And, so probably wedding. Yeah, well, possibly. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, you never know. know. Could have yeah. been a bad guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, but uh, we, uh, you know, we, we had intended to take the ferry back over to Formentera by, by, you know, the evening, by the last boat, but we missed the last boat. We had, we had our tickets, but we had no money, so there was no, no place to get a room or any shelter. We just stayed uh, on the streets, and um, there was a, a cafe that was closed down for the night, and the tables were up on the, the chairs were up on the tables, you know, like they are, and, 
and we just uh, took a couple of those chairs down and sat at the table for uh, hours and hours while the night went, went by. And um, I started getting homesick, and I, I thought of this song and, um, and uh, my home so far away and, uh, and, and wrote Carolina in my mind as, as the sun was coming up. But we're not going to play that song tonight. But, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> but, so I'll, prob I'll introduce the song that we will play tonight the next time on, I'm here. Oh, that'd be yeah, great, yeah. That's right. And then, and then we'll cut it together for the rerun, yeah. <laughs> but you, your, uh, your album, uh, these, are, these are old standards that you're playing. These are the songs that when you were coming up and playing music, uh, folk music, thing, the, the music that was more modern, this is the music your parents listened to. Did you like the music your parents listened to when, when you were young? You know, I did. I did. Uh, certainly when I was a kid, I, I loved that music. Um, I got an attitude about it when I was uh, a sort of a teenage musician myself. Um, but, uh, you know, I, these songs taught me a lot. Yeah. Just learning to play them on the guitar as, as, a, as a kid um, taught me the changes and, and taught me a lot about harmonies and, and uh, just there's a, there's a wealth of, of information there. And, you know, it seems likely to me that this is, well, I, I know it's the case that, that Bob Dylan and, and uh, Paul McCartney and, and Paul Simon and uh, the, the, the entire generation of songwriters that I come from was also informed by this same music, these standards, you know. So. Uh, well, we're so excited you're going to play one for us tonight. And it is just always such a delight to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. James Taylor.